campaign just to get more people to download the app. So I was just literally on YouTube and just typed. One of the things I enjoy doing is to go for a run. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a day in the life vlog. I know a lot of you have enjoyed previous vlogs that I've made on this channel and today you're going to get a chance to look at what I get up to when I'm working from home. I suggest you get yourself a cup of tea and enjoy this video. This morning I woke up at 8am which is an hour later than my usual time when I have clinic. I've grown love for breakfast and a cup of tea. While eating breakfast I listen to music. As I'm working from home today, I take my time and don't rush. At 9 a.m. I start to do some work. I schedule my creative work in the morning. Today I'm writing a piece on a powerful concept that really changed how I perceive life. The process of writing is useful in deepening my understanding on a subject. Let me tell you what this concept is all about. Think of your life as a story and you are the main character you're writing a page of that story every day. You have complete control over what the main character chooses to do or not to do. After reading the piece and refining it, I schedule the email to be sent out on Friday morning. This piece will be sent out to subscribers of my weekly newsletter on Friday. Would you like to lead a happier and fulfilling life? Consider joining our newsletter and you will receive insights just like this every Friday straight to your inbox. Hi guys, it's nearly half 11. I've got a Zoom meeting now. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Likewise, nice to meet you. Thanks for getting in touch. Yeah, I've used that as well. Um, I use more the nice CTS and nice BNF, but uh, I have actually Browse it, medicine complete as well, yeah. Nice basically said that they want um, us to run a campaign just to get more people to download the app. So I was just literally on YouTube and just typed in BNF app, and then your video came up, and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I'd love to like, get in touch with you um, and just sort of like, just this literally, as I said, just like a short video and um, yeah. just sort of how you like use the app. I think there's some questions down which I can uh, send to you. So um, I mean, like, feel free to completely freestyle, like, whatever you want to say. It doesn't have to be, like, super long, like, as short or long as you want it to be. Um, but I sort of put, and I'll send you this document, but it's just, like, an intro, like, um, it's, like, your job title and a little bit about your history and what you do now. Yeah. Um, and then just sort of, like, how you use the BNF app on a day-to-day -day basis. Overall, the app really saves time, especially if you don't have to search for a book. Um, and on how school it is very important as well because you have it at the touch of your finger. Then I plan some videos I'm scripting for the YouTube channel. At 1.15 p.m. I take my lunch break. I'm having chicken and chips with garlic bread and tomatoes. After lunch, I head to the supermarket for grocery shopping. At 2.15 p.m. I check my mailbox and reply to some emails. Then I prepare for a coaching call with a GP registrar who is sitting the MRC GP RCA. Yes, right, thank you. Thank you for your time today. I sent you a uh, PDF file about the free cases. Okay. You got it? Yes, I yeah. Thank you very much. Great. So, um, just checking um, from the last time we did the course. Was there anything in particular you'd like us to focus in this session? I think really moving from data gathering to management. It's, it's important to try and see which one uh, feels comfortable with you because um, some people I've worked with do use that uh, model from 14 fish package and um, they find that they get to know the patient in the beginning and then they build rapport and then they go ahead with the and medical history. Um, personally, um, I I didn't actually use that kind of approach. I like to actually um, ask that later. But the different ways of consulting, and um, it really needs to be one that works for you because everybody will consult differently. Yeah, maybe I should just try it. Yeah, just give it a go. 
Um, don't actually put too much pressure on yourself. Like, I think there's a bit of self-imposed stress that you're putting on yourself. Um, very okay. comfortable, not overthinking. The other thing I've noticed is that um, when you're discussing one of the blood tests, uh, too much jargon, so yeah, hemoglobin, thyroid level, um, I would just say, we we'll need to do some blood tests. What we'll do, we'll check your blood count, um, see whether you don't, you're not anemic. Most people understand what does that mean. We'll check your hormone level to see whether your, um, the way that you're using energy is all right. And sometimes you're using energy too much, um, then there can be other problems with the hormone. We'll make sure that we'll check that. Um, so yeah, try to bring it down to the patient's level rather than using technical words. One-to-one -one coaching is something I enjoy doing because we can make significant progress in a short period of time. At 5 p.m., I go out for a run. The last few weeks, it's been raining most days and I feel a little bit out of shape because I've not been running that frequently. One of the things I enjoy doing is to go for a run because it's quite a relaxing thing to do. And good for your health. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button. If you want to watch more vlogs, then I've got another video that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Click on the video to watch it. I'll see you in the next video.